Okay, who doesn't love chocolate chip cookies? And who doesn't love pizza? Now imagine if you made a chocolate chip pizza, oh my God, kids will go crazy, everybody will go crazy, the neighbors will come over. You know that movie Gone in 60 Seconds? That will be your chocolate chip pizza. It's so good, it's so easy to make. It's basically just a big chocolate chip cookie. Mine's healthier, I only use four tablespoons of butter, put in some whole grain flour for extra fiber, and I'll show you how I make it. First thing you do is preheat the oven to 375, which I've done. Next thing is you take a 12 inch pie pan, pizza pie pan, and you grease it. And I even grease nonstick pans just as a precaution. They're easier to wash that way too. And so I find either butter, this is my mix of canola oil and butter, which I always have at home. And it's perfect for greasing because it's always soft like that. And uh, I use that same mix for uh, for cooking, for making popcorn, I you know put it on popcorn, on toast if I'm buttering toast, so you only have half the saturated fat. So, okay, the pan is greased. Now we're gonna put together the dry ingredients. Okay, first we're gonna sift together the flour. Now it's three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. It's um, half a cup of whole grain flour. Now that could be either whole grain pastry flour or whole wheat pastry flour. They're both the same thing. Half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and that's the dry ingredients. Okay, you sift like that, and they'll set that aside. Now, for the rest of it, we're going to use uh, my trusted little mixer here, my stand mixer. And as I said, it's only four tablespoons of butter, so that goes in. And then we add four tablespoons of canola oil, which is heart healthy canola oil. So you only have to use a lot less butter. And we'll start to mix this up. And then we're gonna start adding the sugar. Now, it's a, a third of a cup each of sugar. This is white sugar, a third of a cup, and a third of a cup of brown sugar. This is like a light brown sugar. Most of the cookies I make, I use white and brown sugar together. I don't know, you get a little bit of that nice brown sugar molasses taste. And then it makes them a little softer. And then we're going to put in an egg. And I like to put the egg into something first, so just in case there's shells. So I'll just break it into here. And there goes the egg. Now you beat that till it's thick, and not much more than a minute. I would say maybe 45 seconds to a minute to start to thicken up. And then you add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. This is my brand right here. I like this one. I can find, usually can find it at Williams Sonoma. Lasts a very long time. So we'll do a half a teaspoon of vanilla. There it goes. Now we're going to reduce the the uh, speed here down to low. Going to add in the dry ingredients. This. Pretty quick as you can see. You could do this with all purpose flour only, but you know, you might as well have it do you some good and get a little extra fiber in there. Taste just to, nobody will know. Nobody has to know if this is actually kind of healthy. So, all right. There's the dough. Looks like it's pretty well combined. Okay, it is a kind of a soft cookie dough. Now we're going to take it out of here and clean it off the mixer. You can also do this with a hand mixer, works just as well. Okay, so now uh, at the end of mixing, here, um, you always want to get the rest of the flour, so I kind of go around like that and get the rest of the flour. Mix it in, get, make sure that it's evenly mixed. It always takes a little bit of extra by hand when you use this, a stand mixer like that. There's a little dip in the bottom of the bowl. Okay, now we're gonna put the uh, cookie on the sheet here, on the baking pan. And you can see it's pretty soft. And I've tried different ways to pat this in and I think using the, a spatula or the back of a spoon is the best way. I tried to do it with my hand, but it's too sticky. So make sure you get all the, the dough there. I got just about all of it. Okay, so now we're gonna use uh, the back of the, the same spatula like this and just kind of go around 
and you don't have to uh, go all the way to the edge because it's going to spread and it'll make the edge. But here's the thing. I, having done this a few times, this is really, really good. Um, I find that the edges of any cookie always get done faster, you know. So um, try to make the, the center a little bit thinner and make the edges a little thicker because otherwise the center will be kind of mushy. So uh, when you spread it like this, just kind of keep the, keep the uh, dough away from the center, from letting it get too thick in the center, and let it get a little thicker on the edges like this. And that's it. You don't have to, like I said, go all the way because it will spread when it cooks. And then just take a spoon to get the rest of this off. And again, you can spread it out. You can see the center is a little bit thinner and the edges are a little bit thicker. Okay, now the fun part, chocolate chips. I used uh, semi-sweet, let me wipe off here. I used semi-sweet chocolate chips. And now take some time, don't just throw them on here because you don't want to be the person that gets the slice with no chocolate chips. So take your time and spread them around. Attention to detail, I always say that when you're cooking. Pay attention to detail. Same as when I put pepperonis on a pizza. I want to make sure there's a pepperoni in every, in every bite. Okay? So, and this is something that uh, anybody, kids can do. You can make designs, make faces and stuff here. But get it all around like that. And for, for health, uh, health benefits, I use uh, nuts, of course. I, I, think, I think a great chocolate chip cookie has walnuts. In this case, I'm going to use walnuts and pecans which I've chopped up, and same thing, just kind of go all around. And these nuts, by the way, when you bake, if you toast the nuts first, they always taste so much better. So I toast them in about a 350 oven, maybe 8 to 10 minutes, and boy, they just taste a lot better. So you'll, you'll, feel, you'll see the difference when you use toasted nuts like that. Okay, so I just kind of just touch it down a little bit like that, and now it's ready to go in the 375 oven, 9 to 10 minutes, and then you've got your chocolate chip pizza. And since I made one this morning, I can show you this is what it's going to look like. Does that look awesome or what? Look at that. You see how uh, the edges, I, I put it in the same way, see how the edges went all the way out to the edge? They're a little bit browner, so that's why you want to make sure the center is done. So now what you can do is Take, now, if you, if you use a nonstick pan, all of mine are nonstick, you can get a silicone pizza cutter or use some kind of a plastic cutter and you just uh, slice it. Oh, do I have to do it? I do. Slice it like that. Look at that. You just slice it like a pizza. Now, you can bring this to, to the next party. I mean, you, if you want to wow people, bring this to a party. I mean, you could wow them by walking in naked, you know, but this, this they'll remember.